for as long as I can remember, I've been a Steelers fan. Yep. But I've been an American longer than that. Go in, Michelle. Coach Tomlin, I read what you said and the fact that you said that people shouldn't have to make a choice. What's the difference between making it the choice between stupidity and standing for our American flag? What's the choice between stupidity and standing for those who fought and died and who stand at the stadium that you're at today and protect your sorry ass? The United States military stands around your stadium at every game and protects your sorry ass. And that's true. Well, from now on, I'm done with the Steelers. I'm done. I'm also done. I stood for you guys. I fought for you guys. I argued for you guys. Living in Maryland. Living in fucking Maryland. Maryland. Fucking Maryland. And this is what I get in return? Oh, yes! Go to hell. All of you. The only flag that's going to fly in my house anymore is the United States flag. Burn it, set the flag aflame. 3.5 million Americans are languishing without power in Puerto Rico. It doesn't matter, make this video. I'm loving it. Burn it. Yeah, it'll catch. Maybe put it on the ground. Oh, hell yeah. Maybe try lighting the corner. Yeah. This is just like a rag now. It's a rag. Just like your team. Just like your team. A rag. And a rag. Oh, burn it! Burn the flag! Set the rag ablaze! Trump refuses to call out neo-Nazis, but is more than happy to attack black NFL players for calling out systematic racism that's endemic in our society. Go to hell, Steelers. Go to hell, NFL. Oh, yeah. Piss off. God bless America. God bless Donald Trump. God bless America. Done. Done! Yeah! <laughs>